India dominates the world sugar market. The epicenter of this boom? MRN sugar factories crush a whopping 61,000 tons of sugar cane every day. This year, a new record is in the making. A chain reaction of growth fuels the entire ecosystem. Come, watch the mega growth spurt set into motion by a sugar revolution, MRN. In the world's largest sugar consuming country, factories are racing to get to the top spot. More than 50 million of the country's farmers depend on it. Cane harvested in winters gives the maximum sugar, as well as their farmers' bread and butter for most of the year. A new crushing season begins in Mudhol, Karnataka. Truckloads of cane driven by hopeful farmers queue up outside India's largest sugar facilities. Life wasn't so easy in the early 90s. Namale in Samashandre Kabubeleke, Atombotnora, Tombatu, Tombatai, Rale, Bereno, Jola, Coin Jola, Ella Bitne Marti, Dinamal Niro, Karento Jasu Padnir Lilla. Yega Ipatur Sadamunche, Andre Pati Patent or Sadamukato, Atombotnora, Tombatado, Tombataraga, Namale Kaba, Belunta Persiti Dil, Kaba Belodro, Rod, and Gubik, what do we get to do? Hanta Persiti, Dotnagana Murago, Namil Sutumato, Wanda Patreta, Samir de Godavari. Poor infrastructure and inaccessible markets plagued farmer families of Mudhol. One farmer decided it was time to take matters in hand. The MRN group has moved forward with the motto, Farmer First. We focus on improving and elevating the lives of our farmers. That is a very important aspect for us. All our business verticals work together to improve the lives of our farmers and the rural economy. The start, a factory that crushes 500 tons a day. Soon it grew into three. My chairman, uh, ask a question that uh, there are about three factories what she can was um, under uh, closing condition for last 15 years. Can we take this uh, sick industries or uh, not? Then I very much told that definitely you can take. And today, even after 15 years, we have repaired the plants and are running with very good capacity. The farmers cannot afford field factories. The ripple could devastate the local economy. MRN jumped in. The factories were modernized. Equipped with the latest tech and automated processes, they quickly expanded the company's capacity and provided much needed relief. 
ಜಗತ್ತಿನ ಯಾವ ಮಗುವು ತಾಯಿ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಅನರ್ಥವಾಗಬಾರದು ಹಾಗೆ ಯಾವ ಕಾರ್ಖಾನೆಯೂ ಸ್ಥಗಿತಗೊಳ್ಳಬಾರದು ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಖಾನೆಗೆ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ರದೇಶವನ್ನು ಆರ್ಥಿಕವಾಗಿ ಬೆಳೆಸುವ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಕಾರ್ಖಾನೆಯು ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಸ್ಥಳೀಯವಾಗಿ ಕಿರು ಉದ್ಯಮಗಳಿಗೆ ದಾರಿ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡುತ್ತದೆ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಸ್ಥಗಿತಗೊಂಡ ಕಾರ್ಖಾನೆ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸಿದರೆ ಆಯಾ ಭಾಗದ ಆರ್ಥಿಕತೆಗೆ ಹೊಸ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ತುಂಬಬಹುದು ಎಂಬ ಚಿಂತನೆಗಳೊಂದಿಗೆ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆ ಇಟ್ಟಿದೆ completely automated MRN sugar facilities run on an unbelievable scale. At the height of the harvest, tractors carrying almost 61,000 tons of sugar cane wait to unload their precious cargo. Automated systems weigh and unload sugar cane with minimal human intervention. Sugar cane needs to be prepped before it gets to the mill. It is first shredded into fine fibers. This shredder is designed to reduce massive amounts of cane into 5 cm thin fibers in a matter of minutes. A crucial process that drastically reduces the factory's power consumption while multiplying its extraction capabilities. The juice is extracted by five high-capacity mills. The first milling cycle extracts almost 75% of the cane's juice. Residual cane, known as bagasse, is put through four more milling cycles, each designed to make the most of the cane. At the last cycle, exactly 75 degree hot water is poured to dilute the concentrate. We do the water imbibition and uh, low concentration imbibition also, juice imbibition. In the reverse osmosis process, the concentrated juice is transferred to the low concentrated side. Thereby, it is uh, very easy to extract the juice from the fiber. The fiber is passing in the all five mills where the juice is extracted in the each mill. A special trick in the MRN book that ensures more than 99% of the juice in each cane is squeezed out. The sweet gold juice now heads to the processing unit. Here the crew must proceed carefully. Sugar requires precision. Once heated to 70 degrees centigrade, lime is added to increase acidity. The reaction removes impurities in the raw cane juice. By now it has become a mass of both crystals and liquid. Centrifuges that spin up to 1700 times a minute separate the liquid molasses from the crystals. Molasses separated out heads to this giant mixer. it is refined over and over till it turns into pure white sweetness. One more turn of the centrifuge squeezes out the last crystal from the molasses. All our group plants have DCS based automation system. From milling to sugar production, we are having automation. We are able to achieve the plant capacity maximum. In one of India's largest sugar factories, almost 61,000 tons of sugarcane is being processed each day. It is shredded, crushed, 
extracted and crystallized completely automatically. The pure white crystals are dried at hoppers that vibrate up to 200 times in less than a minute. They are automatically sorted into three grades. From the largest crystals made for India's morning cup of chai to the finest powder to be dusted on cakes and cookies. MRN6 factories churn out almost a whopping 300 metric tons of sugar every hour. Once sorted, the sugar is dispensed from silos completely automatically. Bagging scales weigh out 150 kilogram installments that pour through these high-speed single spout baggers into the packs waiting below. The entire chain operates on a precision measured to the crystal. All of six million quintals of sugar heads from MRN's factories to eager buyers all over the world. So we have categorized our sugar sales into four categories. One is B2B, direct to the institutional industrial consumption. One is B2C, to the retailers of the company. One is the business to the e-commerce platform. And one is the direct export. MRN's sugar sweetens India's meals from Kashmir to Kanyakumari as well as some of the favorite soft drinks too. To support the FRP, Government of India has also announced an MSP, a minimum selling price of 31,000 rupees per metric ton. This supports the mills in paying the timely FRP. Export quota to bridge the gap between the low international prices and the MSP are also being given to the mills by the Government of India. MRN sells a stunning 4 million quintals of sugar to Indian homes and commercial buyers and 2 million quintals to 8 countries across the world. But this year, their farmers have even more cane to give. The available fertile land is only limited and the only way to increase productivity is through vertical growth of sugarcane, wherein the average present yield per acre for our farmer is around 30 to 35 metric tons. We have formed a 100 ton cane growers club where we motivate and train our fellow farmers in achieving to grow more than 100 tons of yield per acre. This will result in not only doubling the farmer's income but rather tripling it. There are many farms that have already achieved more than 100 tons of yield per acre in our 100 ton cane growers club. MRN's factories work day and night, seven days of the week, to keep up with the massive inflow. The harvest begins in October. They have just six months to make the year's sugar. They have consistently been topping their own daily record. Halfway through the harvest, celebration erupts. A brand new national record has been set. We have crushed almost 2.6 million metric tons of cane in just 107 days. That's enough sugar to make 200 billion cups of Karak sweet chai. 
These mega factories did it by working with more than 150,000 farmers and employing more than 70,000 people. Sana Padre Tayar Madantle, Raitro Bobo, Akade Kabuko Sudurinda, Iga Igonda Hat Hadane or Sagenati, number the Hat Saudi do, one the Lakshia Pass out any Banita Tredivot. Now Hitchen Utpan at the Gunta Kalasi in Editi, now Artekoaiga, Nama Pagada, Namiru, Jilaga, Raitro Suba, Tekoa Suba Dragara, one in a car, what ten or what eight Saura Tanejo Mutianta, Adon Tara Santrup Tanisto. A model of great growth on a staggering scale. What about the Mige? We are the other day. Samajka Kalkali Rebeko. Nama Berlinge, Namaga Sivo Kirti, Sampatu, Yellowco, Samajakarna, Parata Desha, Visheshavagi, Nano Pradinisiva, Uttara Karnataka, Mula Udioga, Bevasaya. E. Varga the Janerge, Bembalavagi, Nilabeko, Yambudu. Yamarin Grupa de Jagati Anna Kuruno Reta, Avono Sustira Vadre, Nebandinda Jivan and Sontadre, Barataway Gadante. MRN's mega sugar factories set a new record. We have crushed almost 2 million metric tons of cane in 107 days in this harvest cycle. As their sugar production skyrockets, so do their targets. I'm happy to announce today that MRN Group is going to open a new office in Dubai to set exports directly so that the farmers get a better price for the sugarcane that they're growing. More production means potential for wastage. After the cane juice is extracted, the bagasse left over could be thrown away. Instead, MRN turns it into the factory's power source. A ton of sugarcane generates around 300 kilograms of bagasse. This is fed into 12 boilers that burn as hot as molten lava. Furnaces fired at more than 500 degrees centigrade turn what looks like waste into 320 tons of steam per hour per boiler. These high-pressure bagasse boilers can save this factory more than 400 million tons of coal fuel. That's more than 12,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions. In its lifetime, the factory will save about four and a half times more than the country's average yearly carbon footprint. High pressure steam from the boilers hit these factories 14 turbines to generate 231 megawatts, way more electricity than what's required to run the entire factory. The boiler, we are uh, having a 126 kg boiler with 548 degrees centigrade, 30 by a megawatt turbines. In our group, already two turbines are working. With more power to spare, the MRN factories supply more than 171 megawatts high voltage power to villages around through the state government. That's enough to electrify almost 35,000 homes. The factory's brain, its control room, carefully monitors energy requirements throughout the day to maximize efficiency. If a single cog in the machinery stops working, the breakdown could have a domino effect. When a machine goes into breakdown, the entire industry shuts down. So the, about 4,000 tractors are waiting in the group outside the cane yard. So the entire 4,000 tractors have to keep waiting till the factory is up and running again. Each tractor that comes in has about 12 laborers associated who harvest the cane 
and then it is put in on, on the tractor. So when the factory is on a shutdown, these laborers that have harvested the cane have to wait till the factory is up and operating again. MRN keeps their farmers at the center as they look to the future. Nirani Sakkar Karkani, Grahamina Bagada, Raitara, Arthika Mata, Badawani Yagbekono, Itgondo, Prati Ekrege, Raitra Badavanta Badena, Vertical Lagi, Hedgemadi, Prati Ekrege, Yoto Rotan in the Nurtan Kabadavanta, Yoshenegar and Hakondi, the Kanta, Infos Gana Koto, Adu Fertilizer Ribodo, Seeds Ribodo, Technology Ribodo, Adan Kodomo Kantara. Our Prati Ekra Ada and Hesisanta Yojene, other Jotege, Agrimart, Supermarket, Banking, Shikshana Ostena, Nirani Sonstena, Raiter Godex Tide. Zero waste, environment friendly, and farmer first. These mega factories are taking India's farmers into the future.